Thank you. Thank you, the Clooney Foundation, for helping journalists. Um, you know, I became a journalist because information is power, and the way you get justice is by having information. So for helping journalists get justice, not just in the Philippines, but all around the world. I'm gonna quote Amal when she says that there are now more autocracies in the world than there are democracies. And we have the facts to the, do that, right? Um, in this battle for facts, journalists are on the front lines. We're easy targets because we don't have any weapons to defend ourselves except to shine the light. And one reporter, one news organization, our light is a flashlight. But when you like get someone like Amal to defend you, and then George jumps in and it becomes the Clooney Foundation for Justice, you get massive Klieg lights. Uh, and that has made a huge difference for our survival. In the Nobel lecture, my gosh, I, I heard Meryl Streep quoted this to me, that same quote, you know, when you don't have facts, please listen, because this is happening to all of us, including you. When you don't have facts, you can't have truth. Without truth, you can't have trust. Without all three, we have no shared reality no democracy, and it becomes impossible to solve these existential problems that we're facing. So what we are facing today is a global battle of meta-narratives, information operations that are playing with our biology, our emotions, where lies spread faster than facts on social media. So in this upside down, would Meryl Streep playing a reporter make you care more than a journalist like me who has been beaten down by exponential abuse, by the weaponization of the law, and the breakdown of trust? Maybe. And that's maybe the secret. That's why the Clooney Foundation for Justice, that's why all of you here, the Clooney Foundation has been trying to fill in the holes in the international justice system, in, our, in, the, in the breakdown of the rule of law. Well, that's part of the reason it can be the tip of the arrow in this global battle for facts. Journalists are exhausted everywhere around the world. We really can't do this alone. We need a whole of society approach. And this whole evening has been slightly surreal for the five of us, and I think I'll speak for the five of us. We need you. We need artists who will help us awaken our people in all parts of the world in this search for justice and even more elusively, hope. The technology and the trends show, and here's the challenge for you, that by 2024, we will elect more illiberal leaders to shift the geopolitical power balance globally. It will change. If we do nothing, Autocracy Inc. will win. And more countries that were on the edge, like Belarus, will get help from more countries like Russia. So in the last two minutes, this is like a basketball game. It's the last two minutes for democracy. And we're losing. Please jump in. As you can tell from what you've heard tonight, we're not giving up. I always think of this like a game of chicken, you know? <laughs> I'm staying on, and you know, you have to be careful of like a Christmas Eve email from Amal. 
because Christmas Eve was when she told me, she went through all of our cases and she said, Maria, you know, you're facing 103 years in prison. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, she works on Christmas Eve, but whoa. Um, so we're not giving up. You know, I've watched that 103 years go down to 70. It's still the rest of my life. <laughs> but it's the right one because this time matters. This is our battle. This is not just my battle. This is your battle. Um, so for all the luminous lights I saw this evening coming into this room, thank you, thank you, thank you because you must spark not just hope, but action from every citizen in democracies around the world. We're in the last two minutes. So thank you. Thank you so much for being here.